Two Action News has learned the Atlanta streetcar has brought in less than $10,000 in the first month that passengers had to pay for a ride. New at 6, Channel 2's investigative reporter Richard Belcher is live in downtown Atlanta. It seems this $1 fare is driving away some who were used to riding for free. Richard? Yeah, Jovita, many of the people who are no longer riding are almost certainly the homeless who just can't afford the $1 fare. We also witnessed today a number of would-be riders who are having trouble buying their tickets at the machines at all of the streetcar stops. Net effect is that a system that costs about $5 million a year to operate, $5 million, brought in about one five hundredth that amount in revenue last month. Today, I'm going to pay the dollar because I have a dollar. We rode three separate cars today and saw a lot of empty seats. Riders who can afford to pay confirmed that a dollar seems to be too much for a lot of people. Uh, when it was free, a lot of people rode. Uh, since they charged, uh, started charging the dollar fare the first of the year, you know, there's not that many people ride. I think that's a little pricey to, you know, pay a dollar to perhaps ride just from here to Centennial, which is maybe just, you know, a quarter of a mile or so. MARTA AND THE CITY NEVER SAID THAT THE STREETCAR FARES WOULD GENERATE NEARLY ENOUGH MONEY TO PAY FOR THE NEARLY $5 MILLION A YEAR IT TAKES TO OPERATE THE SYSTEM. BUT IF THE FARE PAYING RIDERS THIS YEAR EQUAL ROUGHLY THE FREE RIDERS LAST YEAR, THAT'D BE ALMOST A MILLION DOLLARS. WILL THEY GET IT? THE EARLY NUMBERS ARE NOT ENCOURAGING. THE CITY REPORTS JUST $4,400 IN CASH AND CREDIT CARD FARES LAST MONTH. Based on incomplete information from MARTA, we estimate another $5,500 from Breeze Cards for a total of just under $10,000 in January. There were more than 64,000 riders last January when it cost nothing. Confusion over how to use the ticket machines could be a factor. This grandfather struggled very patiently to pay with a Breeze Card, a credit card, and finally cash. After four or five minutes of trying at two stops, a machine finally took his cash. A young mother with three children summed up her complaint. When you go up to it, it's not very intuitive. Okay, now to the numbers, the ridership numbers. The city stands by the figure of about 65,000 riders last January when it was free. Within the hour we uh, got from City Hall, the unaudited, meaning the f figures that are not final for last month, only 22,000 riders. That is a drop in a year of 66%. Live at Streetcars Maintenance Headquarters downtown, Richard Belcher, Channel 2 Action News.